Guys, this is Mayday Productions here with my homemade Telemaster. Um, just to give you guys a comparison to the DX6i in size wise, just not too much bigger. Um, I believe it has a 20 inch wingspan, or I'm not sure. Uh, I forgot to measure it. So it's only three channel, it has rudder and elevator. I have stall flap on it and stall brakes. Um, so it's got the UMX 180 brushless motor up front with a uh, MQX um, right rotation propeller, standard rotation propeller. So I'm just going to take off here, fly around, um, just using one hand. So all I got to do is increase throttle. I can fly around. So let me decrease throttle here. And you guys can see. I do have lights on it. That just helps out because I can fly it at night now. So I'm going to do a quick flyby here. The thing does fly really well. Increase the throttle there a little. And you actually can fly it completely hands off, which is nice, but uh, it flies pretty good. So, you can do basic aerobatics, flat spins, inverted flight, um, and like hammerhead stalls, rolls, loops, stuff like that. So that was a lazy loop. Um, and the thing flies actually really, really good. Uh, it doesn't have really any stall characteristics. Uh, it does have traditional monocoque wings on it. Um, so... It does fly really good. So I'll just be quiet now and let you guys enjoy. And you can cruise around at half throttle for about 25 minutes. So I have to land now because of my battery. So that was a one-handed landing. Um, all I was using was my right hand here, just controlling the, the sticks. I had my throttle set at about a little over half just to... Uh, just keep up some momentum and uh, do some different rates. So these are low rates. These are what I just was flying at. Low rates only on rudder. Just that little bit. Now when I go to high rates, that's where you can do like flat spins and different stuff like that. Um, elevator is not much of a difference. That's uh, high rates and uh, low rates. So there's not too, too much of a difference. Um, with the elevator. So, uh, so that's just about it on that. Um, I do have a mix set up so that when I go full throttle, uh, it does give a slight down elevator trim. That's going to vary depending on how much, how the weights and stuff you build it with. So, let me take this off here and, uh, disconnect the battery and I'll show you guys what's underneath. Um, I have the UMX Carbon Cubs uh, light, light set on it, you can see right there, um, and then I have a Neodymium magnet, like rare earth magnet right here, that this has a little magnet on the other side of this, um, and just a little, it actually does, it is functional, a little air scoop right there. Um, that does keep the ESC cool, but, uh, so you just have the battery tray here, um, with your ESC down there. And with this one here, the battery is tucked all the way out front, so it should be pretty good. So, other than that, um, since the battery is tucked right down in there, it's got a slight nose-heavy CG. Um, I just counteract that with some trim, 
but uh, it's actually really durable plane. Uh, this thing has been crashed multiple times because I've been practicing it for depth perception flights. So at my house, I'll fly in between trees and stuff like that. Uh, but other than that, the wings are just held on with elastics with metal dowels running through. Um, and I just have some fake exhaust, obviously, just for looks. And I think the plane overall looks pretty good. I got some carbon fiber there and carbon fiber right there. There's no carbon fiber on the wings, um, but you have a 45 degree stall flaps on both sides and three quarter inch brake uh, stall brakes on both sides. So that's it for my mini Telemaster and that was the um, probably 30th, 40th flight of this plane. Uh, the Monaco, this was grabbed off of a Spirit 2 glider that I had um, that was all busted up. So I took, cut off the winglet on that and uh, so it would be more of a faster plane and uh, use the extra monocoat for this. And this is by no means a good monocoat job. Um, I'm just starting to get into monocoat, so it's real tacky right there. But it still flies pretty good. So other than that, thank you guys very much for watching. And please subscribe.